welcome back to our Cross Canada Tour. This is episode 34, part one of day 23. It was extremely nice to be back in our home province of Manitoba. This gave us a few extra luxuries we did not have in BC, Alberta, or Saskatchewan. When we met up with my mom in Verdon, we had her take a few of our items back to Plumas. Later that night, we had met up with her in Portage la Prairie at our favorite restaurant. In this episode, you'll see us leave Verdon, Manitoba and come to the second largest city in Manitoba, Brandon, Manitoba. Since we were not loaded down with all our gear, we made really, really good time. We came into the southwest side of the city and took a bike route up to the northwest side of the city. Just past the river landing, there is a Dairy Queen. We got a cool treat and had a rest. And then we came up the hill on the north side toward the number one highway and we took a rest up there where the episode will come to an end. We want to thank everybody who has watched our videos up until this point. And if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, we please ask that you consider doing that. We also want to thank everybody who has shared, liked, and subscribed. Enjoy the episode. Still in Vernon, Manitoba at the hotel where we stayed last night with Mary Lee. As you can see, I had time to shave, uh, which was kind of nice. And uh, we're just about to leave. The goal is to get to Portage La Prairie. It's a 200 kilometer bike ride today. Um, we may not make it. We may just get to McGregor, which is, I don't know, maybe 30, 40 kilometers before Portage La Prairie. Uh, we'll see how far we get. It's almost nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, I had a pretty good sleep. I got up at five again, just like normal. But this time I was finally able to get back to sleep. So we had a good breakfast. We have some fruit for the road, uh, lots of Gatorade, uh, water, we're all good that way. It's not supposed to be too hot today, so we'll see how far we get. It is Saturday, July the 22nd, and we're going to head out to Portage of Prairie. You good, Josh? Yeah. He says, yeah, so we're good to go. Number one highway going east. Now you can see that we're leaving Burden. Boy, is it nice to shave. Get that beard off of me. And, uh, yeah, we're just setting out. There's a sign coming up. Oak Lake 23, Brandon 73. Winnipeg, 286, 286, well we're not going to make that today, but I think there's a good chance we can make Portage of Prairie today, we'll just see how it all goes.
We're going to be taking this access into Brandon. It's a little safer. It's off the highway. And then we'll get out on the other side of Brandon and, um, and take the highway again into Portage of Prairie. Yeah, there's a low bridge in uh, Kemney. Someone recently got stuck under it, a uh, truck, because he was too high. We're now taking 1A East into Brandon, this small community, Kemney. Um, so Brandon is not far, it's maybe 10 kilometers outside of this little community that comes back onto the highway a little bit of a detour uh, it's a very low bridge someone this spring got stuck under that bridge made the uh, news in the evening and I read it in the paper uh, hopefully the bridge is uh, clear and we have access through it otherwise we'll have to go over top of the rail tracks. It's coming up here pretty soon, so we'll see what happens. All right, just past the community of Kemney and we're now 12 kilometers to Brandon. Beautiful, beautiful canola fields here in full bloom. You can smell the flowers that are in bloom here. Look at that, eh? Wow. Doesn't even look real. I don't know. As you can see, we made it to Brandon. You can see the housing and condominiums. Uh, soon get into some business section. And here is the official sign for Brandon, Manitoba. There it is. Josh, what are you doing? You gotta get the picture, man. Brandon, Manitoba. All right, we're on a designated bike path in Brandon. Just going through the city of Brandon. So it'll be a nice bike path that we can take through the city so that we can be safe. Uh, that Highway 1A had such a small little strip of shoulder and gravel it was not good uh, we often went to the gravel and biked on the gravel well that's not good for anyone uh, but now we're on this nice designated bike path it's very nice so you got all the car dealers here uh, condominiums or apartments uh, housing on the north side of this bike path we're going to be turning north. Uh, we'll go to uh, Dairy Queen to get a cool treat, use the washroom, and get on to Portage La Prairie. 
I'm impressed with the time we made here. A very good time because there were rolling hills that we went through, Josh, hey? Yeah. And so it was a challenging bike ride to get here. But it was nothing like the mountains. Yeah, nothing like the mountains. Uh, it'll be a bit easier going from Brandon to Portage. And of course, Portage all the way through to Falcon Lake because generally speaking, the topography is flat, completely flat. Uh, and if anything, it's slightly going downhill into Winnipeg and then slightly going uphill to the Ontario border. Uh, Winnipeg is in a basin, a, a valley. Uh, the Assiniboine River and the Red River meet there at the forks, and that's why it's so low there. Uh, so we're just going to continue to take this bike path through Brandon and then get on to Portage of Prairie. Uh, we're going to go to our favorite restaurant. What is it, Josh? Over the coals. Over the coals again. That's where we. Uh, that is one of them. Yeah, that's where we ate when we did the Portage the Prairie um, trip episode. Uh, that's where we ended the episode. Uh, if you remember, that's one of the last episodes of the Mega Manitoba movie. Yeah. Uh, did we go to Morden, Winkler, and Steinbeck after that? After. It was after. Okay. So yeah, this is Brandon. Uh, we got to wait for the traffic lights. We've been here before. And we've been here before. Grace Lutheran Church. Brandon. Josh and I are crossing the Assiniboine River. We're in Brandon. We gotta get up that hill because we're in the valley. Floods here are quite a bit, so they've done a lot of work to prevent further flooding. Uh, just down to the east is uh, the Riverbank Discovery Center, I think it's called. Uh, it's an information center and they got walking paths down there and all that. It's kind of nice. You can see some canola growing right here in the city of Brandon to the northwest. Going into the wind a bit. The blue roof building is where Joshua got his braces. So we were coming here at least once a month for two years in order for him to uh, have his braces. Now, there's a Dairy Queen in this parking lot. We're going to get an ice cream sandwich, go to the bathroom, and uh, go from there. So we're at the top of the valley from the Assiniboine Valley, looking into Brandon. It's pretty hazy. I don't know if that's smoke or what, but... Uh, it's really hazy, you can see. It's not clear. Thought it was. Well, Josh has just taken a few photos of Brandon. The no, business they... area in the downtown. You can see the water tower in the background. And we're off to Portage of Prairie. It's 130 kilometers from here. And it's almost 1 o'clock, so we got a lot of... a lot of biking to do. We'll see you there. Welcome back to our Cross Canada Tour. This is episode 31, part one. <laughs> 34. I said that I 31. 31. <laughs> 34, part one of day 23.